Okay, we're now in section 18.5, RC circuits. This should be a review for you uh, since uh, we already had the RC time, RC time constant experiment uh, earlier. Okay, let's, uh, let's begin. Let's turn our attention to direct current circuits containing capacitors. In these circuits, the currents vary with time. Take a look at this, the series circuit in the figure. We can assume the capacitor is initially uncharged with the switch opened. After the switch is closed, the battery begins to charge the plates of the capacitor and the charge passes through the resistor. As the capacitor is being charged, the, the circuit carries a, charge, a changing current. The charging process continues until the capacitor is charged to its maximum equilibrium value, which is Q, I hope you can see that, Q uh, equals C epsilon, where epsilon is the, uh, the uh, battery voltage. Here, it even says here, epsilon is the maximum voltage across the capacitor. Okay, uh, once the capacitor is fully charged, uh, the current in the circuit is zero. If we assume the capacitor is uncharged, I'm sorry, if we assume the capacitor is uncharged before the switch is closed and if the switch is closed at T equals zero, the charge in the capacitor varies with time according to the equation shown here. Where is the here? There it is. Q equals Q times one minus E to the minus T R C. Um, where E is Euler's constant, the base of the natural logarithm. The figure on the right is a graph of this equation. The change is zero, the, the charge is zero at T equals zero and approaches its maximum value Q as T approaches infinity. The voltage delta V across the capacitor at any time is obtained by dividing the charge by the capacitance. Delta V equals Q divided by C. Okay. Let's take a closer look at this equation. In, in this model, it would take an infinite amount of time for the capacitor to become fully charged. The reason is mathematical. In obtaining th that equation, uh, charges are assumed to be infinitely small, but in real reality, the smallest charge is that of an electron with a magnitude equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. For all practical purposes, the capacitor is fully charged after a finite amount of time. The term RC in the equation is called the time constant tau. The time constant represents the time required for the charge to increase from zero to 63.2%, 63.2% of its maximum equilibrium value. This means that in a period of time uh, equal to one time constant, the charge on the capacitor increases from zero to, to, to 0 0.632 Q. Let's see how, see how this works by substituting T equals tau into our equation. Note that the capacitor, no, note that the capacitor charges very slowly in a circuit with a long time constant and very rapidly in a circuit with a short time constant. After a time equal to 10 time constants, the capacitor is more than 99.99% charge. So you should be familiar with these already. Uh, uh, Q equals Q times one minus E to the minus RC over RC, which is a time constant, Q equals one to the minus E to the minus one. And if you calculate that out, it's 0.632 Q. Okay. Now let's consider the circuit in the figure on the left, with, which consists of a capacitor with an in, initial charge Q a resistor and a switch. Before the switch is closed, the potential difference across the charge capacitor is QC, Q divided by C. Once the switch is closed, the charge begins to flow through the resistor from one capacitor plate to the other until it, the capacitor is fully discharged. If the switch is closed at T equals zero, the charge Q on the capacitor varies with time according to the equation shown here. 
Q equals big Q e to the minus t r c. The charge decreases exponentially with time. As you can see in the graph on the right, in the interval t equals tau equals r c, the charge decreases from its initial value Q to 0 0.368 Q uh, in value. In other words, in a time equal to one time constant, the capacitor loses 63.2% of its initial charge. Because delta V equals Q divided by C, the voltage across the capacitor also decreases ex exponentially with time according to the equation shown here. Delta V equals Q divided by C equals delta V equals E, that's epsilon times E to the minus T over RC, where epsilon equals Q over C. Um, that epsilon is the initial, initial voltage across the fully charged capacitors. Remember, if you, were, if you did the experiment, we were using five volts, but sometimes you, it took so long that you would just start like from 4.7 4 volts, and that became your new E. That is the charge that you, uh, that you measured from. Anyway, this ends this section. Uh, the next section will be 16.8 household circuits. And let's stop sharing.